Well, today we're talking all about free overnight camping at Gander RV. And that's exactly where we are right now. Uh, it was not a planned situation, but we um, have to have some work done. And this was one of the places that Keystone authorizes us to go. And as you can see behind me here, this is our accommodations. We, when we first got here, um, they pulled us out. We got uh, our RV diagnosed and they pulled us back over into here. And we were in this spot over here uh, and there was another rig here, but once they moved, we moved over to here so that we would have a grassy area. We got a little, a little picnic table area over there. And um, so you can see there are four or five spots and you don't need any reservations. It's totally free. You can stay overnight or if you're getting work done on your RV, you can stay for as long as you need to stay. We've been here for a week already, but if you're just traveling and you overnight stay, it's a good alternative for like um, Cracker Barrel and Walmart, especially now because Walmarts are not open 24 hours a day. So they don't have all the security that they used to have. So now you can stay at a Gander RV. Um, I don't think every Gander or Camping World has this availability, but uh, I think most of them, most of them do. You can see here, it's nothing fancy. It is, uh, it's 30 amp power. And water. But it's free. And it's, it seems pretty safe. And, and as a matter of fact, a lot of the times there are uh, sheriffs that are out here hanging out and just killing time out here, I guess, doing their paperwork or whatever they're doing but uh they'll gather out here so that's that's been a peace of mind too it's not very well lit out here but it has been uh very quiet and um the only problem is that it doesn't have any any sewer hookups so what you have to do is unfortunately when you're full you have to hook up the rv to your truck and you have to drive it over to the gander rv parking lot which is over this way. You actually have to drive up this driveway. There's a little service road that goes over there and back around and the dump station is actually right over there behind the big uh, solitude over there. And that's actually where the trash is too. So you have to make sure that you're doing this while their business hours are open because um, if they're closed you can't get in to, to throw your trash away or dump your tanks or anything like that so we really have been uh trying to conserve water as much as possible and uh, we've only had to dump once so far it was a little bit of an inconvenience because when we went to go dump the the dump station at, at gander was was full it was full of chocolate milk <laughs> so i took the cap off and it was totally level with the top of the thing so that was definitely not happening and um, I had already hooked up to the truck and taken it over there and everything and planning on dumping over there but I couldn't because it was full um, they have since got it all figured out but I had to go across the street there is a RV resort across the street and I had to pay ten dollars to get the um, the tanks dumped so um, I think $10 is a little steep, but I have heard of places that will actually charge you a whole day's stay to dump your tanks, which I think is crazy, but, um, so I'll take the $10. Um, we don't know how long we're going to be here, so I don't know how many times we're going to have to do this hookup thing and take it over there. Um, we're hoping to be into the, into the maintenance bay tomorrow. Um, uh, I know you guys are following along with all the issues that are going on with this, with this slide this uh this bedroom slide has had a leak in it and it's been leaking for a while it's actually been growing mold if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link up here in the description so that you can see the first phase of that where we discovered the leak we actually had to drill a hole up under here and let some of that water leak out and uh and now there's mold in there so that whole slide is going to have to come out they're going to have to replace the flooring in there they're going to have to replace the flooring in the bedroom to replace all the carpeting and estimating 18 hours of work over $3,500 worth of stuff. So uh, we'll definitely bring you along. Um, it looks like once they get us into the maintenance bay, it's gonna be about um, 
five or six days before we'll actually get our RV back because what has to happen is they have to take this thing in, they have to remove the slide, they have to take pictures of the damage, send it back to Keystone. Keystone has to review that, it takes 24 to 72 hours for them to look at those pictures to see how much, if any, that they're, they're gonna authorize in repairs. And so they gotta, they gotta sit there with this slide out for a couple of days waiting on Keystone to authorize it. Once Keystone's authorized it, it's 18 hours of labor, so you're thinking about three days worth of work uh, we've already missed Fort Lauderdale. We had to cancel that. We canceled our first week of Fort Myers and it's looking like we're gonna have to cancel our second week at Fort Myers, Florida. So it looks like we're gonna miss the whole Southern part of Florida and making our way back up to Orlando for the holidays and then over to Tampa for the Super Show. We're crossing our fingers that the Super Show still happens, but it looks like that is up in the air and, and we really don't know what's gonna happen with that either. So stick with us through this whole deal. Uh, really the main reason for this video was we wanted to make sure that the, everybody knew about the free camping at Gander RV and Camping World if they have spots available. This one is in Bartow, Florida and as you can see there are three spots available so if you want to come hang out with us <laughs> we'll probably be gone by the time you get here but um, it hasn't been terrible. Uh, it's, it's been a good experience working with Gander. I know people uh, talk bad about their experiences with Camping World. We've had a great experience so far. Um, hopefully we'll get it taken care of with Keystone. But we'll just have to wait and see, man. It's gonna be a long road. We'll keep you updated. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.